I've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Aries, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this two of swords and it's with the hangman. So, this is telling me that you're confusing your person. Yeah, they're not sure what to do about this connection. The hangman can be about being confused and just stuck in your head. Not sure, in or out, up or down, yes or no, should I stay, should I go? This is how you're making your person feel because the two of swords here, the card above the word pass, that's telling me that for some of you Aries, you're avoiding this person or they could, they could start to, well, this is a recent pass, so they, they're feeling that you were avoiding them. For some of you, you block this person and they're confused. Two of Swords will block and avoid. But let's see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the Nine of Pentacles and it's with the Queen of Wands. Well, if you're wondering if this person is going to stick around, yes, yes they are. The Queen of Wands is a very determined energy. That's the card below the word present. The Queen of Wands, very determined egotistical, used to getting what they want. Yeah. The, the Queen of Wands knows her worth. Yeah, this person is going to continue to pursue you. Very determined about you. They feel like you're their Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. They feel like they could have a very good relationship with you, with the Nine of Pentacles. Um, they feel like the connection could, it could actually go somewhere. If you two are together, but you're blocking and avoiding this person, they still feel like it could go to the next level. They're determined about you. Very determined. But let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is going to be. So we got the Ace of Wands, and it's with the Two of Cups. So, Ace of Wands is about a powerful new be beginning. Very powerful. Yeah, like I said, they're determined. They got a lot of passion for you with this wand. They want a new beginning with you or a fresh new start. So you could be hearing from this person. Still trying to reach out to you. Yeah, they want... They want to get this started. They want it to, they, or they could just be wanting it to continue. They see that, well, put it this way, with the Two of Cups here, the card below the word challenge, they feel like you're their ideal partner. They feel like you're the one for them. Two of Cups is about, it can be about a deep connection. It can be about the ideal mate. Um, they see you as a union, a harmony. They feel that you're their romantic love. They've got romantic feelings about you. And they, they could very well want this to go to marriage proposal. Yeah, they want this to get started. Ace of Wands is here. You are the one that they want. So don't be surprised if they they continue to pursue you. They've got a lot of passion for you. When you see these wands, you got a lot of wands here. Wands can be about passion also. So let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We have the two of wands and the four of wands. Passion, passion, passion. 
Well, you got somebody that really wants to be with you, Aries. Yeah, yes, you do. You confuse this person, though. But the outcome is showing two of wands. You could be just feeling like you need to make a decision. The two of wands hasn't decided on anything. You could have two paths towards the future. Yeah, you've already got a couple of options. It could be with other people. For some of you, it's maybe it's just just different paths of of your life, different journeys or different avenues that you want to take. Yeah, you got some options and you're trying to decide. You know this person is there. You probably know they're always going to be there. You probably know that you've got someone that's really into you here. Yeah. Now, you could be ready for marriage and commitment. For some of you are, because the Four of Wands is here. That's the card below the word outcome. Yeah. You could be ready. But what I'm picking up is that for a lot of you, you're not feeling this person that way. You're not feeling them like they're feeling you. They feel like they feel like you're the one for them. They feel like they'd be happy to have you. And for the connection to go to the, to the next level. Even marriage, even proposal, yes. That's how they feel about you. But for some of you, you could have someone else in mind that you want marriage and proposal with. Because you're up there trying to decide. Maybe someone else is pursuing you. That you feel like you could be leaning more towards. So, coming up, you're stuck with trying to decide. Yeah, and you're confusing you're confusing the heck out of someone. They're all turned upside down, hanging from a tree. So that is the reading that I have for you, Aries. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation once in the near future for the two of you. How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aries, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's gonna pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong and take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Aries reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or maybe even a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Aries, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.